Welcome to the Motanja show, Mr. Jain. Just a couple of questions. One is, Make in India as a slogan has become very popular and mm. the Prime Minister endorsing it. How motivating is it for companies like you, yours and people like you to think um, brighter days ahead? For sure. Uh, we have been exporting to 80 countries and uh, since, uh, since almost 20 years now. So uh, the Chinese came in between and they captured a lot of market from us, a lot of business from us. So India kind of had an opportunity, a lot of opportunity, which we could see even 20 years ago. But nobody was really the political will and uh, the, the push from the government was completely missing. And to, to, uh, to realize that this, this, this is a vast field, vast area, which is really there to capture for India uh, and to, to capture it from China. That, uh, that thing was completely missing for the last 5-7 years particularly when we could see that there's a big, big market there for us, for Indian entrepreneurs, Indian business and the world wants to come to India and there was no nothing, no push coming from uh, the government here. So, but this thing that Mr. Modi has just overturned it within a year's time, you could see it's, it's all over the world. We, could, we, we see people talking about it in South America in Australia, in far off countries like uh, uh, South Africa, for example, everywhere. So he suddenly make up big sound. So what we could not achieve in the last 10 years, which we should have done 10, 20 years ago, maybe that he has done in one year. So that's commendable. And that gives us a big push, big motivation to again uh, come back into uh, what was a kind of a, uh, a, a trade or a segment of our trade, which was coming down gradually over the years for us exports. But now again, we have put in more people put in more efforts, we are participating much more in the exhibitions. So to actually to kind of uh, uh, get back to those clients which have lost faith in us, lost faith in India. And we had lost faith in India for that matter, for in our government. So that pushes back and some, some real actions have to still happen. So once that is also there, that kind of support is also there from the government. That, uh, the ports, the infrastructure. So there's a lot of talk, of course, and there's a lot of visibility world over for India. And that's really already helping us and with the backing now that we'll get from the government, I'm sure we can really make the world take great notice of India and could be uh, the next uh, kind of uh, manufacturing uh, hub for the world, for the global markets. Global markets yes. But uh, early in the day in, in one of his speeches, Mr. Osama Suzuki mentioned mm -hmm. that quality in India and making India should go hand in hand. Mm -hmm. How pertinent is quality? In India, do you think of course, of it course, has, of course. It's got better. It's it's got better for sure. And without quality, especially in auto field, in uh, auto components and in auto industry, there's no place for you. There's absolutely no place. And uh, there we already, I think, are uh, stationed quite well in front of our uh, uh, world, uh, in front of the competitors or the other countries that we have, like China. So we Indian quality is still considered to be good. And there are some companies who have done uh, exemplary work here. Of course, they're supplying to all over the world. You know those companies. We are able to catch up with the quality. Uh, we understand what the world requires. We are able to already deliver, like our company is already delivering uh, goods to, uh, lamps to Volkswagen, which is being exported to all over the world. The cars from here are going to Mexico with our lamps. What better proof? What better proof, uh, yes. Quality. And uh, Volkswagen is a very demanding customer. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. And that means a lot of investment has to take place. Investment has to take place, of course. Up to, yeah. so, but we have been gradually, Indian industry realized it long back, actually. Auto industry realized it long back that without quality, you cannot compete, you cannot enter in the world market. So a global aftermarket was a different ball game. But to supply to global OEMs, which is, a, which is the chunk, which is a big market where we should really pitch in, that's going to be only coming to us with the quality. One last question is, is you know, Make in India has been happening in India for, for ages. Mm -hmm. And for Make in India to happen now in a renewed way, I guess, like you mentioned earlier, there are a lot of challenges, a lot of policy changes have been mm -hmm. done, a lot of other support systems have to come in. Mm -hmm. You feel that will be coming, or do you see indications of that coming? I'm sure that uh, what Mr. Modi did initially to catch the world's attention, what he did was what was supposed to be done, I think. That was something that was a very smart marketing move. It was marketing. So like what we have done, we marketed our product and then the people came in and then we responded. So now the time to respond has come. And yes, of course, the government has to react to the situation. If there are customers coming here, if people are looking at India now, 
big companies, auto companies, uh, auto components companies, uh, the global companies, then we really need to show them that, okay, we have the infrastructure, we have the will, we have the support, uh, which should come, which is which we can't see right now, uh, to be honest. But uh, it should be coming. Uh, I am sure people at uh, the nodal bodies, they must be realizing that it has to come. Otherwise, this opportunity will go away. So they have to react fast, of course. The world changes, the, uh, the mood changes very fast, actually. Okay. So it's pro-India right now, and we must catch it. Okay. Thank you so much, Mr. Jain. Thank you very much. This is the new avatar of the Balino, the Suzuki Balino, from the Maruti Suzuki stable.